Hi guys, hope everybody is doing really well. Um, today is the combination of the last couple of months of me scheming, swapping, buying and all the rest of it. Um, and I have picked up some uh, extremely rare wrenches. Like for me, this is the best uh, adjustable spanner tool haul I've ever done by multiples, even though I've had some good stuff. This is absolutely in the land of the in the land of the uh, mega rare stuff so um i've got this uh, spanner book here which is the bible of adjustable spanners by ron geesin um, and i'm going to go through i've marked out some of the spanners so the first spanner is the best spanner which i'm going to show you now um well at least i'm going to attempt to show you with the there we go now this is an okiba which was made in 1910 and it's the it's okiba is the echo abingdon backwards okiba um, and it was made for um, a very special event um, i think it's the festival of britain and it was made there um, to show off the engineering and this wrench was modeled on an air rifle so this as you can see here you see it's got a cock to cock it back like an air rifle um, and this is was not I don't think it was a sold wrench it was made in France the Abingdon Echo um, and it and it's mega rare as far as I'm aware there's only two uh, no, two uh, or three known in the world and um, they're all in big collections and um, you see here it's got the trigger for for opening and closing very very cool like a flint action you know shotgun absolutely brilliant um, and I, this has been my target wrench since i started collecting this is the my number one uh, wrench i've been looking for the okiba uh, made in 1910 so it's uh, 111 years old exactly there wasn't a long manufacturing date it was made especially to show off the, what the manufacturing what they could what they could make so 110 years old but mega rare wrench so i was super happy to to do that in a swap um maybe if i go like that might be better i don't know yeah maybe right so so very very cool so the okiba a very very cool wrench indeed and um, the the next one is possibly this one um which is the which is the, the next one? Oh yeah, the footprint wrench. Um, you see here there is, oh, this is doing my head in this phone. There we go. We've got the Domino back rack wrench from 1908. There's a six, nine and 11 inch of this type, the early type. Um, I'm sure already my buddy Nash has already got them. So this is the full three sizes of the Domino. Can't see anything with this phone. Domino wrench. I don't know why it's so not focusing at all. Absolute garbage. But anyway, the full three sizes. So I've managed to can complete that. So that's the last size. I bought that on eBay. Um, didn't pay a lot of money for it. I think it was about 15 pounds. Why is it gone times two? Ridiculously rubbish this phone anyway is what it is so yeah the back right wrench let me see if i can find a another one so um yeah the next one is a um it's so annoying normally it's okay this is a handy key wrench from 1884 uh, and a reversing spanner reversing spanner um, so basically this is the handy key you can made in ship i'm getting annoyed now I'm gonna have to stop making videos if my phone don't work uh, made in sheffield a handy key very very wet rare wrench indeed it's got two it's got a 45 and a 90 and a, and a straight flat one very very rare wrench Another guy, another guy in a swap. Oh my God. What about this angle? Is that any better? Maybe. We'll try that. So another swappy. 
Right, now this one's not in the book. This is a solid brass, um, obviously quick adjust, um, very, very beautiful French, which I swapped from my buddy in America, uh, brass wrench, absolute beauty. So that's a new addition. So we've got a French uh, bicycle spanner. You see there, it's got like a quarter inch drive for the bicycle um, and a bicycle, it's definitely not focusing. You can see little guy, only small. Now we've got here um, the a miniature, another swap, a miniature, um, oh, I forgot the name of it now. A Boardman's, Boardman's uh, multi-tool from very early, from about 1860. Uh, a Boardman's hammer wrench. Very, very nice little wrench. This, the, this one is much rarer than this one. This one you do find for 20 or 30 pounds. This one's a couple of hundred because um, it's quite small and uh, quite rare. So two sizes of the Boardsman's multi-tool. So that's a new one. That was a swap as well. We've got here a new addition. Um, this is the Guess the Price. This is the last Baco Clyburn to complete my collection. Um, I was just missing the 8-inch uh, and I finally got it uh, from a guy in Sweden, another collector. So this is the guess the price. How much did I pay to scratch the itch and complete the Baco Clyburn adjustable spanner? At the end, I'll show you the collection on the wall so you can take a look at the full collection. We've got a NOS, new old stock, Baco, still got some of the neoprene on the, on the, on the grips. Absolutely sharp, completely NOS. Um, um, 111 pipe wrench from, from Sweden. Um, I paid about £160 for this, and the reason why it's a slightly different model, which I will actually I'll show you at the end the different sizes. So I've got every single pipe wrench ever made in both both manufacturing dates, which I'll show you at the end as well. Um, the next one, let's find let's find the next uh, page. Um, here we've got. Um, an extremely rare wrench this is called a western painting from 1861 extremely rare with the curved and i found one and i've just done a swap for it this is a mega mega rare wrench the western painting um y timmins and i found one with a different mechanism so let me show you the one i found this is a western painting it's not in the book so it's new and the actual mechanism is on the back rather than on the front you can see here not focusing again why timmins and son manufacturer england um, and it, the mechanism is on the back so you can see here mechanism on the front mechanism on the back and it's got a slightly a slightly different jaw as well because this is the wheel on the front and it's got a cut back and this is the back. So this is a bit of an unknown wrench. This is not in the in the book um, and I've already swapped it for another wrench um, with another collector. But this is very, very rare, one of a kind wrench. Um, and then the last wrench, <coughs> which is a very rare wrench. This is another one which has been targeted in wonderful condition. I've just cleaned it up. It was filthy when I got it. And um, this is a Brooks Painton. Now let me see if I can find it because I should have marked the the Brooks and I can't seem to see where where they put it. Let me have a look. There we go. So this is the the Brooks painting adjustable spanner. A small manufacturer back from 19 still not really focusing. 1905. Um here's some more information about the 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 um, King Dick. Abingdon Echo um, Okiba wrench and it's a very impressive wrench as well very very rare so yep so I've got two on that page I've got that one I've got that one I've got that one um, I've got that one and that one all blurry so yep so I'm definitely getting through this book now picking some rare ones up um, super super rare there's two sizes of this and this is the larger size, then there's like a five and a half inch version. Um, mega, mega rare stuff. Um, don't forget the guess the price on the Baco Clyburn. 
Um, my favourite, without doubt, um, it's not this mobile phone with the blurry vision, but it's the oh, why is this? It's just just ridiculous. This phone is the Okiba, made in nineteen ten, from Abingdon Echo, which is a King Dick. So this is the rarest King Dick wrench on the planet, basically, by bar none. Why is it so bad? Honestly, I'm sorry about this video. It's atrocious. Anyway, right, so I'm going to show you the uh, my collection of Baco and then I'll show you the other one. So let me get on to that. Right, guys, so this is the two completed sets of Baco, which is always good news. We have the uh, Baco Clyburn all the way from four inch up to 18 inches. Um, and um, far as I'm aware, there's only one other person I know who has this full set. It's kind of rare to get because they were only made from 1914 to 1924. So it's only 10 years of manufacture. But there we go, a full set all lined up. And behind that's the later versions of that same wrench. And then here we have the full set, every single um, manufactured uh, wrench from Baco, a uh, pipe wrench from Baco. Uh, the full two set so this side onwards is from the 1940s characterized by the smooth jaw on the back um, and then from the 1920s they have the scooped out sort of back end of the jaw and um, they also the writings earlier it's like a number with this double thing and then on this side it just says 112 it doesn't have that number version just here um, so these are the early ones that also much thicker and round more rounded on the early ones and then the more more the more modern ones are slightly different slightly different in manufacture thinner around the edge but basically here is the full set you as far as i am 100 percent sure nobody on the planet apart from me i've never seen not even the museum has got the full set so 1920s they never, they did, never did, and then they changed the design as well. They introduced a smaller version, which is a one ten, which is like a five and a half inch, um, and they got rid of the one thirteen, which was the eight, which the fifteen inch. So it's changed, changed. So they changed the sizes. They changed the, the type of manufacturing. They changed the type of manufacturing, um, from smooth to grooved so that's the full set so hopefully you enjoyed that hopefully it wasn't too much waffle all right take care have a great day bye